Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Gail and Shane. They're here to talk about Walnut Academy, which I've kind of uh, had a interest in because I've noticed that Missoula has looked into a lot of alternative learning programs. Um, you know, Learn Inc., uh, Missoula International School. It kind of feels like it's like a parental education co-op. Mm -hmm. Could you guys explain a little bit more about like how you came up with this uh, concept for school? Yeah, sure. So we see it as a parent cooperative, but it's also a community that we have been building over the last nine months or so of families who recognize that there is a need for middle school and high schoolers to have a different option and an option that doesn't look like any of the current educational options. So we're getting a lot of positive feedback from um, other schools and from other families that this is an area where teenagers who really want something that is student-led and is not a traditional model can come and find a safe place to grow in whatever way they need to be growing. And I've seen some success with uh, uh, Willard High School as well because a lot of times uh, they are trying to figure out ways to keep kids in school and make sure that they graduate. Um, and so part of that was just like, what do you want to learn? And then they really start uh, like centralizing on the specific field as well. It's very much like a vocational kind of school if you really think about it. Right. The, of the vocation of, of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, it is a beautiful thing to to genuinely mean it when we ask, "What do you want to learn?" And a lot of the the work is allowing for that that trust to be there of the student to know that the the staff truly is there to just billow the sails of their intrinsic desire to give themselves what they want, and to know what they want is mostly good for them yeah mm -hmm. and and just you know uh, just having a, a, a grown-up around to help them guide where uh, they can see what may also not be good for them but that may even come through exploring and finding out for themselves mm -hmm. what they do want what they do not want mm -hmm. and that can that's beautiful and it can be frightening at times as well to be honest and so for parents who are interested in this, uh, where can they learn more information? Sure. Yeah, you can check us out at walnutacademy.org or on Facebook. Um, you can call us at 406-493-1813. We also are hosting community nights every single Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the school. And people can just drop in. We have some food. We play games. We hang out. Please, we're just building that community. In. So it's at 701 Walnut at the corner of 5th and Walnut. And we're a very friendly, welcoming group. And, and people are welcome, the neighbors in that neighborhood or interested families. Anyone really is welcome to stop by. And and we will happily share what we're doing and we're you know we're trying to save enough space and hold enough space in our program development for the families that haven't even joined us yet so that when they join us they can be part of that building process too. Oh, cool. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about the naming um, process. How did you guys come up with uh, Walnut Academy? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's on walnut, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and the walnut is sort of the brain nut, right. and, uh, and so our logo even is, you know, the drawing of a walnut, so it just felt like a stable name to me. And in the process, the process of naming the school was our first really foray in how we will uh, operate as, as a school. We allowed ourselves the ability to name our, our school whatever we wanted, everything from uh, old school academy to some uh, some really rad and out there names and and we settled on probably one of the most traditional names we could but it felt right it did feel right nice and it's on Walnut Street so yeah the Walnut Academy works <laughs> yeah and I mean of course I, I do hate to say this but I noticed that like like you were saying that you want to do you know, junior high, high school. I mean, I have noticed that there are certain limitations to alternative high school programs here in town as well. So I think it's great that you guys are kind of expanding upon that because even like other like Missoula National School or even um, Sussex School, they go into about like eighth grade, junior right. high, and then they oh, yeah. usually would yeah. feed into the local MCPS uh, school system. Right. And so like, I understand that a lot of people are struggling just because, you know, when you have these kind of classroom settings, you have 25 to 30 kids mm -hmm. per teacher. So I can really respect the fact that you guys are looking to kind of like really focus and centralize and have a smaller, more hands-on experience for these kids. Yeah, and we really want to be holistic. And so 
our focus is meeting the children when they walk in, the, or the teenagers rather, when they walk in in the morning. And, and some days that growth is going to be social and they're going to need communication with each other and they're building a community. And some days they're coming in maybe needing some emotion support, emotional support and identifying how they're feeling that day. And some days they may be ready to learn some some geography or some math or whatever they're ready for, but really accepting them as they walk in every day and 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 helping them build community. So we're going to have you know lunches that they prepare themselves together. We're going to have a monthly family me uh, meal where the families take turns cooking and sharing together. Um, there's an apprenticeship program to help the kids be connected in the community with whatever they're interested in. And we're also offering our, our students the chance to host students from other schools for an after school program every day from three to five, where if they're interested in chess, for example, they could run chess club and connect with some friends at other schools so that we're really trying to model this is how to have a healthy, balanced life in a community. Nice. So you take care of yourself as an individual, and then you build connection. And this really helps the kids basically be the leaders in their own education. Absolutely. That's great. So for more information, uh, once again, where can people find it? Walnutacademy.org on Facebook or 406-493-1813 or Wednesday nights at 701 Walnut. Oh, down and join us. 6 p.m. And We'd it truly, love to see you. it takes a village, and you are the village. And we really, we're just part of the process where really all of us in this great community have birthed this, this experience. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Scott.